Okay, I'm here with Stephen Stokel, the founder and CEO of Woomi. Hey, Stephen. Hey, hey, it's been really tough out there um, with this downturn for entrepreneurs. What are you learning about entrepreneurship during this time? Well, there's two things I'm actually learning. One is uh, something that I've learned way back in 2000, just don't overreact. Uh, downturn comes, you see a ton of uh, startups laying people off, you see this quiet deck, a huge overreaction. Uh, my personal belief is actually startups need to tighten, their, tighten up, uh, extend their money, because the reality is the exit market may not be there for 24 months, or uh, uh, additional financing may not be there for 24 months, so you got to have a plan to get out that far. But at the same time, you got a business, it's a startup, you got to make it happen or not make it happen. Uh, as an entrepreneur, you don't have the luxury that a big company does where you're going to ride something out. In 18 months or 24 months, you're either going to have quadruple or, or even you know, 10x increase the size of your company, or you're not. Uh, and if you just look to go flat for the next 24 months, you're going to be sitting there with no valuation anyway. So you still got to go pedal the metal. you just got to be smarter about how you spend it. You have, you've been through a downturn before, um, and you got out. You also have $12 million that you just raised this past summer. So, are you changing anything about the way you're running the business, or are you are you fine because you raised money? Yeah. So, actually, good question. Um, we raised twelve and a half million uh, in a Series B, and what we're doing, and that money was essentially going to take us out uh, eighteen months at the time of raising it. Uh, what we're doing now is we're cutting costs a little bit, slowing down a bit of the trajectory, so that we can take that out twenty-four months. Uh, the objective there again is just to make sure that we give ourselves a bigger window. Uh, for the market to, to rebound a little bit so that we can raise an additional round or exit or whatever the uh, whatever may happen at that point. Um, so we are cutting costs a little bit, figuring out ways to go ahead and extend our life a little bit. Okay. And the biggest lesson you learned from the last downturn? Because you were in the uh, last downturn. The biggest downturn. lesson I learned in the last downturn is that it ends. Huh. As bad as it may seem, at some point, whether it be a year out or two years out or five years out, things are rosy again. So don't get too down and don't get too high. That's nice. She's always an optimist. You must be an entrepreneur. Thanks, Stephen.